Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. How are Welcome you Welcome to Spiel. I am Lucas. Oh, I'm Angie. Yeah. Today, no, it's wrong. today I'm a bit different. Um, I think um, too much fasting, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and what? You are okay too today. What yeah. happened with you? Oh, what? with me? Nothing. No, you look you different, Angie. Really like yeah. <laughs> yeah, your hair is so nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, today we are going to have a great show today, no? no? Uh, yes, and what's going to happen today? Because uh, we have a really cool guest today, really. Oh. Chef, singer. Chef? Who's yeah. chef? Uh, chef? Chef, you mean. Yeah, a chef. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, Jeff, a chef, yeah. And <laughs> we're a cool recipe. A you chef. really, a mamma mia! Wow. Ah, and I remember there is a musician coming as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what yeah. he's going gonna do? I don't know. Sing something. Maybe we are going to dance. Maybe I don't know. We will <laughs> see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Hmm? I will teach you some some movements. No worries. Oh, okay, mm, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. True. And by the way, Happy New Year. We forgot to tell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy New Year's. And but the truth is, yeah. We wake up early today, really early, and we come here and... No yeah. one is here. And no one is here. <laughs> yeah, so we took the cameras, we put... We install we, we everything install because everything. They te the team is really great. They teach us how to do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And but yeah, my name is Rafael. And my name is Alia. I am from Chile. And I'm from Ukraine. Yeah, but we live in Croatia. So yeah. that's where we met Angie, yes. who invited us here yes. to come. Yes. And yeah, we are glad to be here. Really great. Yes, we are happy. So today we are going to enjoy and we are going to speak about travel and about Croatia and about tourism and have fun. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Spiel. <laughs> Dude, All right, wait, wait, what you do ready? You, what do you think? 10. 10 out of 10. 10. Actually, they might be better hosts than we They're are. better. Yeah, yeah, here. Just here are the notes here for yeah. the rest of the show. Yeah. <laughs> As they've already shared with you, Kat Wells, you know her, you love her. She's our winner. champion. The winner. Of what? Of the Mid-American Music Awards. That's right. And she's here with her mama, Jean Watson, which, by the way, you know, Rob helped produce that video not long ago. Yep. And it's called Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Is that right, Rob? One month. Very cool. 18,000 views. And then can you say this name? Is it? Uh, Jason Van Sickle. That is fancy, isn't it? He, he sounds fancy. Yeah. I, I heard he's uh, Emmy nominated. Emmy award winning. Emmy award winning. winning. It's even Excuse better. me. He already has the hardware. Wow. Okay. So he's going to be in and he's going to prepare some dishes for us. Yeah. It's, it's funny that he's Emmy awarded, but uh -huh. also a fancy chef. Right. So how many great skills can you have? Exactly. It's really kind of unfair. And then towards the end of the day, the end of the show, Rob says we have to end the show with this because we're going to get wet. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Petrified. So, yeah. And, uh, and I think we'll just take communion, too, today. How Rob, about you're, that's not, a show, you're, right? you're not bringing in like a... It's a fire hose. It's okay. a fire hose. Okay, so those we're having hazardous. communion and getting baptized. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I we'll, love it. we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, stay right there. I cannot tell you how excited and how blessed I feel to be sitting here with my newfound friends, Olya and Raphael from Croatia. Welcome. Thank, thank you for you the invitation. So much. Thank okay. you for the invitation. Yes, thank you. We are you. very glad. Thank you <laughs> to for be doing here. a better job at the Open than Lucas and I have ever done. Oh, yeah, I knew you guys would kill it. Thank I knew you. you would kill we it. need still some more practice and then yeah. we there, then, then I'm coming <laughs> then, then you're coming for my job. Is that what you're saying? Then no, Angie, we can I'm sometimes replace when you need some holidays yeah, so you, you can yeah. stay in Croatia and we can come here. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Let me tell you guys how this relationship happened. And it's what we talk about on this show so much where an hour or two photo session with us led to what will be a lifelong friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're here in this country as a result of us working together for just a small amount of time a long, long way away, you know, in Croatia. 
yeah, yeah. It's an opportunity. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. But we still don't believe that we are here I with know. you. Yeah. It's like a dream. It, it was really just is. a half a year ago. We met. Yeah. yeah, in August. Yeah. And we were keeping our lives. And then they called and they're like, we're moving to the U.S. We're going to move in with you. We're going to be friends with <laughs> now. They just wanted to come here and uh, they have a uh, photo studio there in Split, Croatia and do a remarkable job working with tourists and uh, they wanted to come here to see how we do things in this country and then we of course are all going to go over and see how you guys do it in Split, Croatia again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how great. Yeah, of course, yeah. great deal. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so they're, they're known for iris photography. I, got, I want you guys to check this out. So look at that. Yeah. Tell me how that came about. Um, why did you think of this or had you seen it and just thought it was really cool? Yeah, we've seen and we were thinking it's a good uh, way to do it as well okay. yeah, because yeah. in Croatia it's not really exists and then Rafael um, did a special system because there are already photographers who are doing it uh -huh. but they're doing it with different system and then it's too much bright mm -hmm. or too much reflection and then it's not really your eye too much addition you guys have it perfect your logo that's half your eye yes, Rafael half and, and half, half. Okay. yeah 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 awesome. so that we decided to do our logo uh, with our eyes yeah perfect Talk about some of those other services that you're known for, the flying dress. Yeah, flying dresses we do. We started last year with that. So we sue one, one, so <laughs> one And we brought it here. <laughs> so beautiful. And, yes. and yeah, that's no, very popular okay. in Croatia. Yeah. Awesome. And also many proposals. Proposals, Proposals yes. in Croatia is boom. Such Around romantic. the world, they are, yeah. hey, I go with my girl. I will be in a split. I want something special. So mm -hmm. we plan everything, photo, video, Champagne, to do so it's amazing. That's yeah, a really is. good energy. Yeah, and we have yeah. a lot of nice partners who are helping us with all the decorations, mm. with picnic, everything, and flying dresses. Also, one girl she has many different colors. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I, I want you guys to realize is. Say you're going to pop the question, or you know you're you're visiting this place for the first time. Go all out. You know, have have people take care of the little things for you because it's worth it. It's a memory. We keep yeah, talking exactly. about that. Yeah. This this week is memories. That's yeah. that's what's so great about photos is we're encapsulating memories. So um, you have so many photos and so many memories to talk about visiting 115 countries when you were working as a photographer on a cruise ship. And you said people ask you all the time, you know, where where is your favorite place? Because these photos. I mean, you look like you're straight out of the pages of National Geographic. Just oh, yeah. beautiful <laughs> photography. I appreciate it. Yeah, talk about some of those most memorable uh, visits to places. Of course, the most memorable is Antarctica because Antarctica, Antarctica yes. was really on the top of everything. It's um, like when you arrive there, you start breathing and oh. you feel this nature. You really see all these landscapes, this ice, this blue, blue water, mm. blue, um, everything nice. And uh, penguins, of course. Is that when the, the penguins just walked up to you? They're like, yeah, you're they sitting go. on the ice taking photos. And I want you to look at this. There are two penguins. Yeah, they're, just, yeah. they're really Three. curious, yeah, yeah. right? Two curious. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was South Georgia. It's king penguins. Wow. Because in Antarctica, there are many different types of penguins, but uh, king penguins oh, are mm -hmm. in South Georgia. And oh. really, it's like you can watch them forever. You're just sitting. Uh, even I was waiting always for the guests <laughs> when mm -hmm. they arrive. And I was just standing, whatever, uh, sitting, looking, just looking, watching, watching them and taking photos, thousands of photos per day. <laughs> if you're seeing these photos now, which you are, we're rolling them across the screen. Uh, it's just really all you can say is, wow. Also, you know, you've been in situations before that could could be deemed dangerous because you never know how certain animals are going to act or whatever. She even shared, even when she feels scared or she doesn't know how a situation is going to go, you think to grab your camera and you just take a picture. Yeah, because I was on expedition. It was my main goal to capture all things what are happening outside, inside the ship. But of course, most of the time it's outside. Whales, dolphins, the people from the bridge, they call me. Hey, come to the bridge. There is a dolphin. There, there are a ton of dolphins swimming, jumping. <laughs> now you know why she's so happy all of the time. I mean, look where she's been and what she's experienced. Now you, I found out there's so many other layers. A diver, but also um, sort of a, a scientist and, and very interested in uh, aqua. Is it aquamarine, like aqua culture? Uh -huh. And um, I learned so much last night from you about development and, and things that you're interested in. Talk a little bit about some of the other interests of Raphael. Yeah, I study aquaculture engineer. Uh, aquaculture engineer is mainly how to 
grow fish. It's mm -hmm. fish farming. Okay. So it's about science and mathematics and physics, chemi chemistry, many things. Yeah. Right. And I work uh, many years in a fish farming company okay. and salmon farming. Okay. And also I was doing many jobs in diving also. I'm a diving instructor. Mm. So I was uh, participating in many scientific projects nice. for university, for the government in Patagonia there diving a lot. What I couldn't believe is, uh, what you've probably known for a long time, the discoveries that they're making now, uh, whether it's in uh, sea life or grown somewhere else, but the nutrients that are found, you know, on the ocean floor and even in algae and, and some things that are really good for us that we could even take, you know, from, from some of that study. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, for example, spirulina. Mm -hmm. Spirulina yeah. is the superfood. It's Super the, it's food. The food That's of the why future. you look like you do. Oof. Yeah, yeah, and it's the green. Like a <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cyanobacteria, and with this uh, spirulina, you can do many things. Really, uh, uh, for example, you can create. Uh, animal feed, you can uh, create things for agriculture, for aquaculture, for the medicines, you can extract um, many proteins, and, but it's, it's amazing, it's pretty nice. You can uh, uh, grow this in a laboratory, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's good for the body. I so if you happen to have a laboratory, call us. We, yeah. we need a place to grow it because yeah, it's yeah. good for us. I eat every day, Spirulina. Oh, of Be note, okay. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. okay. Because it has, sorry, 60, between 60 and 70% of protein. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. who knew? Yeah, yeah. We did. Mm -hmm. Listen, they're here with us for a couple of months, so um, you'll be able to see them on our podcast, Market Abilities. You're going to be able to see more of them here on the Spiel. So just stay tuned because this is a story you don't want to miss and talk about two incredible people that we've just been... I'm enamored with them. I'm actually in love with them oh, both. I don't know. Thank you. I'm in love with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really. Listen, I told you we've got music coming up. We've mm -hmm. got a chef. We've got so much to do. So you're going to take some photos. Yes. Of course. Okay. Why not? Yeah, we'll All be right. here. With a pleasure. <laughs> Stay right Always. there. We'll be right back. So with getting the first Sunday of the new year, mm -hmm. makes you think about all those fresh starts and, and things like that. At CRHPC, we strive to meet the medical, dental, and pharmacy needs of patients. In addition to family medicine, pediatrics, and offering x-ray services at reduced costs, CRHPC treats patients needing dermatology, a colonoscopy, and those with questions about women's health. Need help managing diabetes and want to learn how to eat healthy? Or you're looking for a psychiatrist? We treat behavioral health needs. CRHPC is also a Suboxone provider. Come see us if you need help regulating testosterone levels. We can assist with weight loss, wound care, and treat joint pain. Find help at any one of our 14 locations throughout Southern Illinois, where walk-ins are always welcome. For more, visit crhpc.org. Specifically in adolescence, um, that addiction to nicotine, whether you're smoking cigarettes or using a vape, that addiction to nicotine can have a very harmful effect on a developing brain. Adolescents and even adults up into the early 20s, their brain is still developing. And so when we introduce a real addictive product like nicotine into that developing brain, it can have a big impact on how they develop. The addiction to nicotine that happens is a, is a big problem, whether it's through a vape or through cigarettes. So we talked about this at the beginning of the show today. We were telling people how when you're in a moment, you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention to the people who are there with you and the situation and the circumstance that you're in or maybe the beauty that surrounds you. So I did a church visit. Actually, I got a double dose that day. I went to two services. I started at First Christian Church in Carterville. And this lovely lady, Andrea Brzezinski, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. She's a teacher, so she's here yes. on her lunch break. we got to make this quick. <laughs> but she took the podium, and she began to speak. And she talked about communion, which is just a time that Christians remember what Jesus Christ did for them in a way that was so simplified. Andrea, and I approached her. She goes, Angie, why? What are you? And I'm like, well, you come on the show, and you gracefully accepted. So thank you, and graciously accepted. So 
What was it that you said, do you think, you know, when you were preparing, do you try to just keep it so simplistic or? I do. Okay. I do try to make sure that it's, it's not an entire message or preaching right. of its own. And I know that's not quite the intent of that part of the service. Mm -hmm. And so I do try to keep it pretty simplistic. Yeah. What was your goal and your motivation that particular Sunday? I know it was the fresh start. It was in January. Yeah. Each time I'm asked to do it, I always try to think of like what's going on at that time of the year mm -hmm. and to kind of play on that and mm -hmm. refer back to that. And so with getting the first Sunday of the new year, mm -hmm. makes you think about all those fresh starts and and things like that. Absolutely. So we have the, the fancy bread. Now, if you go to church, so you're not um, intimidated by it, they may give you a little plastic container that'll have the little, you know, piece of cracker or something, and then some sparkling grape juice. So we have that here, just a little fancier version for television. So um, I'm just going to let you take it away. And uh, I, I hope that you guys were, uh, are as blessed as I have been and, and, and take this lesson with you and, and the message as well. Okay. Well, thank you. So on last Sunday, it was the first Sunday of the year. Mm -hmm. And so it was just a reminder of like, okay, Christmas is over. Um, you know, we're supposed to be taking down our Christmas decorations. Our kids are going back to school. We have snow in the forecast for the week. And mm -hmm. then pretty soon the winter blues are going to be setting in. Mm -hmm. And that's not a very uplifting message. And I think everybody was a little like, oh, <laughs> so maybe everyone was expecting me to get up there and do something a little more encouraging, thinking about like all of the possibilities that the year 2024 has for us. Mm -hmm. And what are the plans that God has for us? And to be excited about those things, or maybe even to say something like, hey, it's a new year. It's a new me. Mm -hmm. But honestly, do we really even need a new year to make those changes. Mm. You know, whether it is January 7th or June 7th, we have the ability to call on the world's creator on a daily basis to help give us that willpower and that strength to just be a little bit better than what we were the day before. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes we just really wish that we could show God's love to everyone. And but sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves. We think we need to be perfect. We think we need to fill up our calendar with doing God's work, and we need to do all sorts of good deeds. But really, we just make it hard on ourselves. Mm -hmm. it, um, when really Paul writes in Romans chapter 10, mm -hmm. verses 9 and 10, he says, So you will be saved if you honestly say, Jesus is Lord, and if you believe with all your heart that God raised him from the death. God will accept you and save you if you truly believe this and tell it to others. Mm. He keeps it pretty simple. Confess that Jesus is your Lord. Mm -hmm. Believe and tell others. Notice that it does not say that you have to exercise more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say that you have to smile at everyone, that you have to be nice every moment of the day. Like, we don't, that's not what they're asking us to do here. Yes, those things make us feel better about ourselves. That maybe makes us look more appealing or showing God's love at those times. But really, in the year 2024, we just need to keep it simple. Mm. Confess He's our Lord, believe, and then tell others. And so the part that we're asked to believe is that Jesus died on a Roman cross and was raised back to life for all of us, for everyone to accept him, for you and for me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to read from Matthew chapter 26, mm -hmm. verses 26. And it says, during the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and said, take this and eat it. This is my body. Mm -hmm. um, so you take the, the, the bread or the cracker and, and you take that and you remember that his body, he gave up his life, but only to reclaim it again in three days. And we have the only living God as a result. And then the um, grape juice is representative of... Yes, and then reading on in verse 27 and 28, it says, Jesus picked up a cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He then gave it to his disciples and said... Take this and drink it. This is my blood, and with it God makes his agreement with you. 
it will be poured out so that many people will have their sins forgiven. Mm. He knew the whole time what was going to happen, right? Absolutely. And it just, it is so empowering because when you do take this small piece of bread and, you know, you enjoy it. And then, of course, just the grape juice. We're not perfect. Actually, I'm a disgusting sinner along with everybody else in the world. But, you know, if you can just remember, this is called the good book for a reason. All the answers are in here mm -hmm. about everything, really, if you just take time to read it. And um, thank you so much for coming out. Well, thank you for you having did, me. You did stellar. You were just perfect. <laughs> Wasn't it great and simplistic? And it, it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. So, again, thank you so much. And many blessings to you, my friend. Well, thank you. Many to you as well. And we'll be right back. Hi, my name is Kat Wells, and this is a song that I wrote about a heartbreak that I went through. Maybe if you're going through your own, you might resonate with this one. This is In It For The Gold. Two,
I think if it isn't coming from here, mm. then it isn't being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. All of my songs are 100% from my journal. We're doing a, a Italian sausage, spicy, and vegetable, and garlic, and we're just gonna rock it in the Let's do uh, it. A, a broth. We want to help students when they come right out of high school. We want to get them through that two years and get them into a career or get them onto a transfer. But we're also here for the adults like I was. You know, I always knew I wanted to have choices and, and do different things. I went to apprentice school, I went to lineman's school, and then having the education expanded on that. Come and visit us online, come visit us in person. I would always encourage people to check out the website and look at the events page and see what's happening and what's coming up. Can we just have another round of applause there for Cat Wells? Listen, I'm a fan because she happens to be the 2023 Mid-America Music Awards, <laughs> like our inaugural show. This is the winner. I mean, she will ever be lamented in that fashion. But anyway, thank you so much for coming back to the studio. Yes, Gosh. yes, thank you for having me. From Michigan? Yes. Okay, yep. she hails from Michigan, mm -hmm. and she's been doing a, a lot of work. You know, she's she's very thoughtful when she, she writes her music. I think we get to work with you the next several days. That's mm -hmm. part of that prize package. Mm -hmm. So are you excited about it? Do we know where we're going? Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're gonna work on a song that I just wrote. Okay. And I'm I'm so pumped. It's gonna be amazing. Lucas is gonna help me. I don't I don't know who's gonna be on the team, but if it's anything like this, it's gonna be incredible. Kat won the overall award and she won the sound recording session, a music video, whether we do a live recording or what she chooses. And then you were also over the country category, and then Ben mm -hmm. Ottolini is was the Christian category. There was yes. a tie. I think he's gonna come and play along. Yes. So. Yes, maybe do some vocals. He might do some guitar with That's me big. too. That's really big. I'm, I'm so fan. excited. He's a good guy. Yeah. It's going to be so, awesome. So, you know, what I noticed about you, Kat, is um, in our discussion about your music and what you had planned, there is a lot of thought that goes into mm -hmm. it. What What is it as an artist, a musician, that you, you know that has to be in each of these songs and each of these creations? Mm, that's a good question. I think if it isn't coming from here... Mm then it isn't being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. All of my songs are 100% from my journal. And then I just adapt them to fit into a song. But they're always coming from a, a personal experience. Mm -hmm. I've had kind of a, a fragmented life growing up. My parents got divorced when I was four or five. My mm -hmm. brother turned into a drug addict. My sister got pregnant. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there that I kind of grew up around. And so, so they know that you're sharing those yes. stories on television. <laughs> yes. We're all good. We still love you. Yeah. Okay. Nope. They're amazing. <laughs> They're doing great. They're doing okay. great. Love my family. Mm -hmm. um, my parents are amazing. But yeah, I just kind of grew up around that kind of environment and had to carry so much invisible weight sure. all the time. Sure. And it wasn't until about two years ago that I actually started writing a song for the first time mm. and I'm journaling and I'm realizing, Oh my gosh, this is actually what I'm holding. And I think that's where songs, the best songs I think come from Absolutely. is from what you have to say from the story, mm -hmm. the narrative that is your life, the fingerprint of mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. I think that's where the best songs come from. And then isn't it just remarkable when you find out the number of people going through some of the yeah. same things you are. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it's relatability, which I think is, is, is remarkable. And um, hey, you've had a, a person come before you that's just uh, near and dear to my heart. She's one that we won't ever 
never forget here on the show, Jean Watson, your mom. Yes. <laughs> um, we've worked with her on, uh, she likes to dig way back in some of the old, the hymnals and, and very steeped in, you know, the, the message through song and, and the word of, of Jesus Christ. So what has that been like to just to watch your mom and, and all that she's doing? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. She is, and she's here in the back, mm-hmm. she'll hear all of this. Um, she is one of the most faith-filled people I've ever met in my life. And she encourages me to live a life, not of fear, but of faith. And that's just how she does everything. Her whole music career has been built with nothing in her pocket. She's Mm. just walking step by step and saying, what should we do next? Mm -hmm. What should we do next? And I think my dad is the same way. They're both musicians and growing up with them saying, hey, this might not make a ideal like pay the bills type of career sure. it could right. but even if it doesn't it's if important. it's what you love mm-hmm. and it's and it's what's in you mm-hmm. then you should pursue that and yeah. so growing up with that support mm-hmm. I wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't feel supported by yes. them it's incredible and you know we say it all of the time um and you alluded to this um what is your footprint when you're gone and you know truly in 50 or 100 years we'll all be gone mm-hmm. but what are you leaving behind? Mm-hmm. And I can tell you already what I've seen coming from your family, your world changers. Mm-hmm. And we're just thrilled to have you guys here. So thank you again. You too. You too. You All guys right. are as well. <laughs> Stay right there. When you've gotten all you can and you let her try cold heart and callous mind a slave in summer's heat brand her heart with lies cavalier and glossy eyes you can't see and we are spieling it in our Prairie Farms kitchen. We're joined today by a, excuse me, private chef. Okay, he was very difficult to get. Came all the way from Texas, I believe. Jason Van Sickle, but wait a second. There's a longer name than that. Yes, what ma'am. was it? Jason Redding Van Sickle. Well, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's you know. a mouthful, I know. Yes, yes. So he's also a master in the business of television. So this has been fun to watch him, you know, talking with the guys about lenses and lighting and such. And uh, Emmy decorated. Well, I, you know, I, I have eight, eight Emmy nominations. Oh, okay, yeah. And then five Emmy wins. Yeah. And two of them for craft categories. Nice. Uh, I am a big uh, documentary fan, so mm-hmm. I do micro documentaries. Uh, in North Texas and all the founding families that are there. Okay. And uh, I've got some for uh, youth and children's programming. Perfect. As well as uh, one Emmy for uh, interurban and um, gang reduction oh. for, for South Dallas. Important work. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So I love the way you were describing to the guys earlier. It's it's cold outside now when you're watching this show. And uh, we, we like, everybody likes a soup and maybe a sandwich of some type. And I, I overheard you saying, you know, we're going to do a very elaborate grilled cheese. So stick around for that. We're doing a, a Italian sausage, spicy and vegetable, garlic, and we're just going to rock it in the Let's do uh, it. A, a broth. So less heavy, less thick. The thickness is going to come from, that's going to settle in your tummy mm. with uh, the grilled cheese and then just a lovely spicy accent for I'm excited. That. I'm excited. And I love that you brought everything fresh. So let's get to it. Yes, a lot ma'am. of chopping, dicing, slicing. You got it. So okay. I'm going to start out with uh, a sausage. Nice. So oh. I, I also love that... Um, he, we shared earlier our stories about how when you're younger, or at least when we were coming up, your parents knew how to take advantage of your skill set. And in your yep. case, your mom was um, a chef. I mean, you come from a long line of those. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> my grandmother, my aunt, and my mom were all um, uh, cooks, Goodness. chefs, and they, mm-hmm. they taught me uh, some amazing things. So what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm stripping the uh, casing off the Italian hot sausage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, being in Texas, I love the fact that um, we have the Mexican um, influence, the mm-hmm. Southwestern options, uh, and it's fantastic where we get all the peppers. All right, so we've got this uh, taken care of. I'm going to change my gloves. Mm-hmm. 
because uh, I got some raw meat and we're gonna get this rocking and rolling on the stove. But I got my water already prepped yes. for the soup. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna reduce this, mm -hmm. uh, pull it off, put it in my bowl, which is, yeah, I'm right, raw cheese. Okay. I'm gonna wash this real quick. Mm -hmm. make sure I can we're do that, clean. I can assist. Oh, well, thank you. Uh huh. Don't okay. cut yourself. All right, what are we cutting, slicing, and dicing? We got right, a lot right. to do. Let's, uh, let's get this guy rocking and rolling. I'm gonna okay. smash some garlic, get, get this in there. You just uh, smash your garlic, get that yeah. uh, quick and mm -hmm. rocking and rolling. They make so oh. much anymore. Have you noticed like all the little <laughs> gadgets and gizmos? And oh, we yeah. were coming you up truly no. just a night. Don't, Good luck. Need, don't need it. Good luck. Don't need it. You're killing it. I'm, I have no idea. Well, you know what? I love the fact that I have a, a sous chef helping hey, me I'm, out. Hey, I'm trying. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't have that at home. You have I'm no here idea. To, Aim to please. All right, so let's get, to, let me get cracking. Okay, let's, you want to uh, change places? Switch, or? Yep, mm -hmm. switch sides, I'm gonna leave this right here. All right guys, so one of the things I'd love to share is, you know, when, when you get to celery hearts, uh, these are the most uh, fragrant uh, items that you can put in a soup. Oh. So never get rid of the leaves. Okay. And even, and, and something even more stranger, uh, for some folks, I've already washed these. Mm -hmm. uh, the carrot tops, this is also another fragrance uh, and herbaceous item that you can put in soups. And I'll, I'll trim off the carrots, of course, and they're already pre-washed. Just the fact you said herbaceous, like I'm super excited <laughs> about that now. Yeah, herbaceous, that's word yeah. of the day. So I'm gonna be, again, I'm, you know, working on a timeline, I'm just gonna rock and roll this. Mm -hmm. See, so you're looking for, you know, all the tender, you wanna go for the tender, uh, the lighter parts first, this is the most tender. So I got this, I got all of our, uh, Celery, mm -hmm. uh, ready to rock and roll, and the celery leaves, most important. Celery leaves are uh, extremely herbaceous. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my uh, carrot tops. Um, I, you know what, check this out. Uh, younger uh, growth is on the top, so mm. I'm just gonna do just a little bit of that. And I'm gonna toss these, because most okay. people toss them anyway. Okay. All righty, and yep. a couple more pieces. Keep Thank the you, younger, okay, all right. And I like to do a fine chop on these guys because sometimes they can be uh, a little uh, on the tough side. And so you need to cook them a little more than uh, adding them at the end. Most of the times when you add herbals uh -huh. uh, to your food, you wait to the very end. So they're, they're going to be the, the most bright right. uh, flavor-wise. Uh, flavor so let's talk a little bit about cutting technique. This is one of the things that I, I like to do. I like to do some very awkward uh, angles on, I like to do a couple of things. I like to do coins on a, on a mandolin where you just kind of slice it and you know, the carrot's circular and you got your own thing. But I also like really kind of trapezoids and, and crazy um, um, cuts because it's tactile on the palate. It smells wonderful. Yeah, get all that garlic there. Mm. We done with this pot um, for now? Yeah, okay, we're gonna go there. back in. We're, we're actually, yeah, on the heat. Okay. Matter of fact, come toward me. Let's, uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's caramelize these guys real quick. Oh. So instead of boiling them, I like to uh, bring that pot over here for me. Okay, this, this, this? Yep, okay. yep, same same thing. I like to give this a, a oh, little bit of you color. you caramelize with the, uh, the drippings there from the... Yep, a little okay, bit of good. flavor there. All, All right. right, so uh, I need a pad of butter. Would you okay. be so kind yeah, yeah, as to yeah. uh, pass the butter to me? Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. And that's not that's not butter either. That's our white cheddar, aged white cheddar for the Ooh, grilled cheeses. Yes. We talked about having grilled cheese and some soup. Mm -hmm. Prairie Farms butter is the best. So I think I'm on high. What I want to do is I want to get a good a good sear on this, my yard mm -hmm. uh, effect. So it's got uh, some brown into that because once once I get the um, the soup rocking and rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to have all my ingredients om almost pre-cooked. And, I, uh, Agreed. and for me, I like my ingredients um, a little bit al dente. I like mm -hmm. I like body to it. I don't like okay. them to be mushy and stuff like that. So, but then if I get close to uh, uh, a hard al dente, mm -hmm. put it in the soup, let it boil some, mm -hmm. let the flavors meld, mm -hmm. then they then they become to a little bit more softer. Uh, Agreed. A stature. Mm -hmm. So then that's a little bit more for the. You know the the big crowd out there that likes you know sure. a little it's softer preference. vegetables. Yeah, so. preference. Okay, raw right here. We're gonna turn this burner on. Mm -hmm. Light it up. So I've got uh, the carrot tops, the carrot greens, the celery. This also the celery, le celery leaves. 
And what I'm going to do is just kind of just, just kind of sweat them a little mm -hmm. bit. And I'm also going to get the uh, uh, purple onion. Mm. I'm going to throw the purple onion at the very end because they, they cook so quickly. All right, so let's Wait. go with, uh, let's get this onion rocking and rolling. Get this cleaned up. You know what? Purple onion is one of my favorite. I, I do like the, I do like, um, you know, the white and the mm -hmm. yellow onions, but mm -hmm. the purple onions just have this taste that you can either go straight raw mm -hmm. uh, or do just a little bit of a saute to them. And, you know, again, it's all preference. You can, mm -hmm. you can modify these recipes. It's, it's very simple. I mean, this is surely what the French call a, uh, a mirepoix, which mm -hmm. is just, you know, celery, onions, and carrots. Mm -hmm. and usually Absolutely. they use white onions, but uh, I like to be a rebel out in Texas, and right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the secrets that my grandmother shared with me is when I was waiting for her grilled cheeses, I had to wait so long, she, but it was, it was low and slow and everything was perfectly toasty and the cheese was melted perfect. And that's one of those things that I still got to respect the process. I'm Alexian with All The Right Spaces. We do custom woodworking throughout the home. All of our products are made specifically for your space. They can really be made any way that you want them made so that they fit into your home. This accent wall that we did here, it was customized to fit this space. All of our products are made to last a lifetime and we do guarantee them. We don't do anything that we don't believe in. So we wanna make sure that it's right and it's right for you and you love it when we leave. Video visit encounters can be scheduled throughout the day. By offering video visits, patients uh, can be seen and evaluated in the comfort of their own home. Uh, they don't have to, to leave the house or visit a crowded waiting room. Most problems can be dealt with effectively uh, through a video encounter. It saves a lot of time, effort, and expense. Please come check us out at Christopher Rural Health and we'll be happy to help you in any way we can. Would you be so kind yes. as to uh, uh, cut a, a pad of butter yes, for yes, yes, yes. the... How big? Um, show me what your pad looks like. Booter, that's perfect. Okay. Right here in that pot. And we'll there get that go. guy rocking and rolling. So we're just gonna reduce that a little bit more. And once these guys get a little more steamy, get some of that uh, Maillard process and, mm -hmm. and some, uh, some color. Yeah, I see some color coming. Nice. All righty, looking good, looking good. All right, let's uh, let's get this guy ready okay. to add here. I have uh, I do have some bouillon, and uh, let's see where's my bouillon. Bouillon's right here. It's a uh, it's a soft bouillon, not cubes. Mm. We take shortcuts. So I've got mm -hmm. uh, I got garlic powder, onion powder. Those are things that uh, I just love, almost a must on, oh, on absolutely. everything. Um, that they need to hydrate. So I'm just going to dump it on on our uh, items here. I also have. Uh, uh, a crushed, crushed mm -hmm. black pepper, and I, I, I failed to bring my habaneros. I wanted to bring the extra Texas heat mm -hmm. into this, but uh, I don't think you guys could handle it. The crew, <laughs> the, crew, the crew couldn't handle it. I don't think so. So I'm just going to I'm going to do it lightly. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to kill you guys. So, and then uh, that's our pesto for the sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And I will take I will take uh, my sage. Okay. All righty. So we got some stock in here. We'll. We'll actually taste this, make sure we don't need any more, mm -hmm. but I think I did a pretty good job. There you go. I think that'll be good right that there. Good? Yeah. Okay. I got one more if you want it. Sure. Who doesn't that like garlic? Too much garlic, right? So what I'm what I'm cutting up here, I just uh, I just chopped up a bunch of rosemary, got it nice and fine. I'm doing the same thing for the garlic, and we're going to infuse the butter that we're using on the outside mm. of the grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, so let's go this way. I'm gonna bring this butter that we've melted on the stove. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put uh, first my chopped up rosemary. Mm. Now there there was a little discovery for me uh, and, and 
some chefs may poo poo at, at mm -hmm. this kind of thing, but I put it in the in the butter mm -hmm. and the garlic and really extracted lots of flavors. And when I brushed uh, oh, uh, my yeah. bread, I, I still had flakes of it. And, and when it when it cooked, uh, the rosemary actually got dark and a little bit charred. And when I tasted that, I was like, whoa. You loved it? It was incredible. Oh, it was, yeah, charred, charred rosemary awesome. is absolutely stunning. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to taste that mm -hmm. as well. And that's what our big pan is here. And we gotta cut, uh, okay. gotta cut our bread. And this is boiled. Let's, let's do a taste test, how about that? Yes. Let's, uh, let's make sure this is at a, a good uh, salty flavor. Mm. So I'm gonna do this. Be, be careful, it's gonna be hot, hot. For me, that's good. Oh, and, excellent. Uh, and because um, mm. it's not too salty, mm -hmm. uh, you salt the taste. But still bold, still, still a really good taste there. So I've reduced this uh, mm. to low, because it's boiling, boiling. I'm gonna put all of our vegetables and our mm. sage and thyme that we've uh, stripped out. I'm gonna try not to burn myself with splashes. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get this butter back on. Let's get this guy going, rocking and rolling. We got our fresh pesto here. Uh, That's gonna be awesome. Now, I think that we have our you ready? next phase. Okay. Uh, cut some cheese and cut some, uh, <laughs> cut <laughs> some bread. Good. That you know, was good, you cut the cheese. Yeah, if, you can't, if you can't laugh at farts and burps, <laughs> uh, I don't know who you are, I don't know you. Your life is dull. Right, exactly. Yes. So. Uh, I think there was a chapter in Emily Post's book. It was like, just walk away from the crowd and take care of your business, <laughs> and then come back. Uh, you know, I don't even, I don't even remember that one. That, that, that I might, made it up. That's that why. might have been a, redact, a redacted yeah. chapter. <laughs> <laughs> that was an add-on. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cut. The, I'm gonna cut the cheese. Cut it. Nice and quietly. So truly, what is your preferred cheese for this particular oh, sandwich? Is man, it's got to be an aged white cheddar, and the white cheddar has to be old enough to have salt crystals mm. uh, growing inside it. So you'll, you'll actually taste a, cr uh, a crunch uh, within the salt crystals oh, wow. inside the cheese itself. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be a great contrast to, mm. uh, to the savoriness of the butter, the garlic, and the rosemary. My compliments to the cheese cutter and maker, <laughs> and maker. Yep. And usually, you know, I let the, the let the cheese hang out a little bit with us. Okay. Uh, but I like a colder cheese because you can cut uh, thinner slices before, mm -hmm. before the soda doesn't crumble. So mm -hmm. you will spend uh, a chunk of change mm -hmm. on uh, some good cheeses uh, and and some good bread. You know that's that's just the. You know, it's. But when it's, you're our age, that's your excitement, baby. That's your life. Like, is right? it a concert really? No. You go to the grocery store, you spend money on what you need to spend, you go home and you enjoy food. The right. Food. That's a great evening exactly. to me. Exactly. And, uh, and I enjoy cooking. You know, uh, there's not a. Not a time that I. I just... enjoy eating, so I think we should be friends, <laughs> like really good friends. Yeah. All right, so let's add our. Uh, let's see, is that low? Let's go to low, low. Let's move it off, off of that, because I think. All those veggies. Mm, oh, that, mm, that mm, looks so mm. incredible, guys. I'm not. I'm never having tomato soup with um, <laughs> with grilled cheese again. So we're gonna add our sausage. We'll get let that blend. And you know, and you know mm -hmm. uh, soups are always better the next day. Oh, always. Yeah. Always better. So all your flavors get to to meld together. Mm -hmm. Like you said, sometimes it's just better to let this go a little bit longer. So how, how long would you normally allow it to cook together before you serve it? Well, you know, I would I would let it sit maybe 30 minutes to an okay. hour uh, okay. for an immediate delivery. And, and actually, you could... You could uh, it's it's good it, now. You could eat it right it's now. It's really good now. And it only gets better over time. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that I, I really love about soups. Because, <clears throat> you know, if you don't eat it all in one night and you, you're tired of it the next day or have for lunch and mm -hmm. then freeze it. Oh, Put them in yeah. little, little quart uh, containers and throw them in the refrigerator. Absolutely. And, freezer, and you have something for Much better uh, for you than the, and, the processed yeah. stuff that you get in the yep, yep. can and stuff. So. Wine break. Uh, is this when I kind of come in with a cloth and dab your head in there? <laughs> well, I'm not sweating just yet, actually. Good, good, good. Let's see if I can cut one more slice. Yeah, he <laughs> cut the cheese. He ain't cutting the bread. All right, so that's an open face. That could be an open face. And... All right, let's see where I'm at. What do I got here? Soup's ready. We're just gonna put on the slow grilled cheese. So we need to go play, kids, while we're, we're making the sandwiches. That's what, that's what grandma said. Go play, go do something. 
Let's go to low. Let's get this guy. Let's go to that's on low, but your lows are hot. And you know what? Uh, I, I did mean to use some of the wine uh, uh -huh. to deglaze the pan with the the sauce, the Italian sauces that we made. Why didn't we do that? Uh, because we're drinking it. We that's were busy. Why. Yeah, yeah so, we were busy with it. Yeah. Okay, good. That, that that is an optional uh, type of ingredient Put for, it in there. for this. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives it a little a little more depth in the flavor. Okay. Uh, some some more dryness, a little bit of tart, almost like a lemon. You could actually squeeze lemon into there Ooh. if you wanted to, versus uh, using white wine. That but, would really change the. The flavor, can, wouldn't it? Well, it, okay. it does, but it it, uh, it cuts through some of the spice. If you okay. if you've got folks that are uh, kind of are, don't like heat, right? Uh, citrus is a nice little cut. Love it. Uh, okay. Sugar is a nice cut, but I don't. I really don't use any sugars when I cook. I okay. try not to because. I know. It's, okay. it's almost like crack cocaine, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. So look, uh, okay. wine, wine, uh, wine break, I think you, you, you knew you okay. were empty, so yeah. I'm going to do this right now. Okay, so what do you want to do now? All right, we're making um, grilled cheeses. Okay. So what we've done, we, we've cut our sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread for these types of things. We have our, uh, uh, not homemade pesto, I guess it's, it's a cheat code. Uh, you can get at, uh, your favorite pesto at any store that you like. Um, sliced all these guys. I've got my sliced white cheddar ready to rock and roll, pesto to spread, and my butter for the outside so we can actually start rocking and rolling. So my pan is hot, starting to smoke a little bit. So I'm going to reduce that uh, to about a two or, th you know, this is a hot oven. So I'm going to do it to a, a two, pull my pan off a little bit because I'm, one of the secrets that my grandmother shared with me is when I was waiting for her grilled cheeses, I had to wait so long, she, but it was, it was low and slow and everything was perfectly toasty and the cheese was melted perfect. And that's one of those things that I still got to respect the process. And I know there's a lot of uh, uh, chefs that do the same thing with their mentors that they've, they've gone through. So uh, breads here, uh, we don't have an even number. We have an odd number of pieces of bread. So what we'll do is have a couple open faces. Perfect. So I'm gonna take a, uh, Spread of pesto. All righty. There we go. We used perfect amount of pesto. And now we have our uh, aged white cheddar. These are usually, uh, these are a little bit thicker than I normally rock and roll. And mm -hmm. that, it, ergo, a lower heat because if you have thicker cheese. Takes longer. Absolutely. Got to Absolutely. Longer. And that will... Uh, Increase your weight, but I guarantee you the weight is it's worth, worth it. it. <laughs> I love it. We're on the same page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all grilled cheeses. So I love the fact that we can do this. And this is very untraditional. I'm sure I'm having some other chefs rolling in the grave. That's now that's watching fine. me. But you know, I've got uh, this. Looks pretty darn good. And then what I'll do is I'll cap those once the heat comes mm -hmm. up, and then we'll flip them over with our spatula okay. so that's where we're at so we're we'll, taking in some time yeah we'll let All this right, do guys. its thing we're taking time hey we want to thank you guys for watching the spiel today uh we had a lot of fun with uh cat wells the, the winner of the mid-american music awards we had uh we did some communion and we cooked a bunch of stuff we did a fun interview with some people from another country uh but i wanted to play a game now to, it's a little bit of a trust game so uh i wanted to close the show with that so what we're going to do is we're going to stretch some plastic across my face and then we're going to pour some water, and I have to try to do my best to keep my eyes open. Well, go! <laughs> Weak. Weak. Hey, are you scared? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 got you. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're wondering uh, how I got here. The story is actually pretty crazy. Oh! <laughs> Did he just close his eyes? Yeah, just a little bit. He's here. Lucas was a good time? guy. He was a kind guy. <laughs> <laughs> it hit my nose. <laughs> I don't have to say goodbye, goodbye? to everybody. No. Oh, he was such a nice guy. He was yeah, like, I know. He was ah, so ah, oh! oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's ready. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so uh, we well, we just pulled off some of the uh, 
grilled cheeses that are absolutely stunning. They smell fantastic, which we had smell vision I know mm. that was a thing back in the day. Uh, Angie drank all the dang wine. <laughs> Uh, I still have a little bit for my own, but she's got hers. And again, uh, we're doing the mugs for the soup, which I, I think is fantastic. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and serve the soup up. Again, this is an Italian sausage and vegetable, um, sage, garlic, mm. thyme, rosemary. Jump over his shoulder, Raphael. Mm. Over his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Very hearty. Very spicy. I love to bring uh, the heat uh, to folks. And we'll do that right there. I want to be sloppy. He's gonna do one more again. I gotta do, uh, gotta do the mugs. The mugs are the best for the soups nowadays, and 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 it's a it's a great uh, serving size. If you got kids or people who are, are watching their their intake, uh, a mug is just like a cup of coffee, twelve ounces or less, eight ounces. And you got some great serving sizes. And we're about to slice up these guys. I have some open faces going on right here in the pan. And I can't make the crew mad at me, so I have to, <laughs> I have to cut these in, in some, in some yes. good slices. But, you know, I'm going to take uh, the one that I would want to eat, and mm -hmm. I'm going to give you half of that uh -huh. one. How about that? Because it's got a lot of garlic in it. I'm going to put this raw right here. There we go. I love how you go Australian on occasion, too. <laughs> love that. That's, that's, you know, that's, a, that's the only accent I can do, so I, <laughs> I, I just kind of use it too much. All right, let's do some, we'll do thirds on these things. So that gives okay. us uh, three, six, nine. And I think we just about covered at least some samples for everybody. Awesome. And I'll take, I'll take one little piece over here. This is mine. Okay. Right there. All right. I'm calling so us up. We'll, we'll let this, uh, this go. Uh, okay. Lunch, dinner, serve, not you know, a little sloppy, but you know, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, no matters, no That's matters right. Monday, That's but right. we're close enough. What was it Wednesday, Thursday? Did I, your grandmother have to call you, or were you already standing there? Oh, I was, I you was, were I was watching everything that she did <laughs> because I memorized everything okay. that she did. Because, so how do you do it? Come, 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 show. Oh, you just the, oh, scoop the, uh, or don't? No, I, you know what? I, I don't. Uh, I, I, number one, I do, I do a combo. Okay. I'll, I'll take a bite of that, mm. see how that tastes. Mm. Give me your. Uh, so probably a reverse. Mm. Did you see that from? <laughs> did you see the slow motion there? Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm starting to direct over here. I'm telling you what. <laughs> hey. Yeah? You, you Amazing. like Amazing. Huh? Yeah? The best grilled cheese I've really? ever had. All right. Mm. And then you come in with a little. Oh, yeah. I try the, the broth, mm -hmm. you know, the vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not bad. I, I would like to do some uh, uh, French Maldon finishing salt on top of the uh, on top of this, but we're watching our salt intake, so it's just a, a process. You're welcome here anytime. All right, <clears throat> awesome. Again, wonderful. Less, no salt in here, so it just it's fantastic. All just a, and then salt to taste at the very end. What's the best compliment you can give a chef? Just a mouthful, and you can't say anything, or silence. Mm. <laughs> and <Yep>. cut. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, dear.